And here we are back with Diamond. It's hard to believe that she's 11 years old. She's very, very full of energy, very spunky, seems to be very healthy, and actually does a different version of obedience training than her brother because she's a little bit more eager to please. I think less terrier and um, she's a sweetheart. So she is also sitting very nicely at Rich's left. He's using the exact same training equipment that he used on King, a regular six foot web training leash and her training collar. And the first exercise that they're gonna demonstrate is her ability to heal. So the command is diamond heal. And again, she walks nicely with you if she's not staying with you, you give her those little tugs. If she goes to drop her nose or not pay attention, and when you stop her sits or, or perfection. She doesn't test like King. She is a really nice girl and she tries hard to please. Her age is the only thing that plays against her as far as not having any training up until 11 years old. This in itself is miraculous. She has better eye contact. You can see her focusing on Rich and trying to please, which is something that King is not as interested in doing. And then when Rich walks around her, she remains seated and allows him to return all the way back to heel position. And we bring blankets out here for even though it's a very nice warm day for our elder dogs when it comes to sitting um, and lying down on command because we want them to be comfortable. And she's such a cute little thing. Nice automatic sit. Again, nice eye contact. Rich leaves her in another stay. And believe me, we have kamikaze squirrels going on up here in these trees, and she's still focused. This time, Rich will call her, and this is her come on command. She comes right in and sits. That doesn't get any prettier than that, Mommy. Good job, and back to heel, back sitting. So I think your, your less defiant dog, your more eager to please dog, is your little girl. In spite of the fact that she's twice as old as her brother. She's very focused and paying attention. Now, I told you about the down, and this is how we're working on the down, by pulling their feet out, offering them a treat. Once you get her into a down, she will hold it. She will stay. 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 She just hasn't 100% gotten, if I just lower the front half of my body, I'll be laying down. But... Unfortunately, we've battled for every command because of the ages of the dogs, and this has to be kept into consideration. My main concern was getting them under control for you on a leash, getting them to focus better on you when you're out and about, um, just generally starting them off with some commands because they knew nothing. And um, I, I always remember the day you got here. Rich leaves her in another sit stay and see this is going to really be helpful for you like in an airport if you're the ticket encounter or something and you can have your dog sitting and staying everything is under control we're also going to do a little demonstration with the stroller our stroller is too small for both of them but they both will go in there and we can walk them around so if you get a double dog stroller you're going to be fine with that we really enjoyed having these kids. We thank you for trusting Nora's with your new babies, and we've enjoyed them. They're good kids, and I think you're going to have a wonderful retirement with them. And we'll be back with the stroller.